We're starting us off this morning. We are sitting down with the folks from the Knights of Columbus, and we are joined by Eddie Forsagi, the golf tournament coordinator, and Dagoberto Garza, who is the golf tournament chair. Now, we are going to be talking about this wonderful annual golf tournament that you guys host um, in, you know, memoriam for um, very someone very special to you all. Um, but before we get into those details, let's talk a little bit about you all and the Knights of Columbus and kind of what you guys do uh, for the community. Yeah, well, good morning. Uh, we are um, a world war worldwide organization. Uh, the Knights of Columbus are a group of Catholic men mm -hmm. um, who, um, who do works of charity uh, throughout local communities. Uh, uh, there are millions of us uh, around the world. We call each other brothers. Mm -hmm. and, um, and we... Uh, we help wherever it is needed. We, we've done work from helping here in the community to helping uh, during the hurricane. Some, some of the brothers went up and, and helped folks during, during, during Harvey uh, uh, to, uh, to basically just doing simple stuff like handing out, handing out meals here locally. And of course, helping the church as well. That's one of our main goals to, to, to be involved with the church. Definitely. And what does it mean to kind of be a part of such an organization that, uh, you know, really prides itself on kind of stepping up and doing whatever they can to help whoever they can? Well, we represent our church and our, our uh, Catholic values, and uh, it just, it means a lot to me to, to serve the community. Yeah, most definitely. And so what are some things that you guys have done so far this year as far as any participations with different um, fundraising events or maybe helping out or just doing different, um, like lending a helping hand in any way in the community? Well, we do a lot of different things. I mean, the golf tournament is our is our main fundraiser. Of course. Um, but it helps us to do our works of charity throughout, mm -hmm. the, throughout the year, which include like helping people with meals, uh, mm -hmm. underserved communities. They also, uh, we, do a, we do our annual uh, fish fry that helps the church. Uh, we help the school, St. Joseph Catholic School, is, uh, is of course affiliated with the church, uh, and, and the Knights like to, like to help out, so we help the school as well. Uh, and then also we, uh, we give out scholarships to our young people uh, from the community mm -hmm. uh, that, uh, that advance their education past high school. So some of the money that, uh, uh, that we do raise from, the, fr from these events, including the tournament, goes to those scholarships. Definitely. And how does that, um, how are students reaction I mean being able to get a scholarship like that to help them as we all know college and school in general is very very expensive and so I'm sure uh, the help that you guys are able to offer them helps them tremendously and I'm sure they're super thankful and grateful for it most definitely I mean every little bit helps so we're we're glad to help in some way even though it may not be a big big check right mm -hmm. but uh, it is something that uh, uh, that helps them, um, especially especially if they stay down here. It, of course. Uh, it helps them a whole lot. Yeah, definitely. All right, so we are going to be talking about this golf tournament that's coming up, which is a way that you folks at home can participate if you're interested in more ways than one. And so let's talk a little bit um, about the details and kind of the reasoning behind uh, hosting this golf tournament. Well, our, uh, it's our eighth annual, mm -hmm. so it's been going on for quite some time. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the Robert E. Marr, Monsignor Robert E. Marr uh, Memorial uh, Tournament. Uh, he uh, was a chaplain, the, the original chaplain of our council, mm -hmm. um, so he started it all. He was a founding member. Uh, this year we're also, uh, we're also honoring uh, past Grand Knight Amario Garza, um, who, uh, who, who passed away. And uh, he was the originator not only of our council, but he was also the founding member of the golf tournament itself. Mm -hmm. um, contributed a lot to the community and to the golf tournament. So uh, it's, a, it's a very special year for us to, to honor both of them. Most definitely. And when you did decide to start this about eight years ago, was um, I know you said that some of the monies that do go to scholarships for students in the community, but was that your kind of main goal is how you wanted to use that money to kind of do that, or is it kind of just overall um, just helping you all as an organization? It is o overall. Uh, it's our main main uh, money source for, for everything that we do during the year. Um, Perfect. But the scholarships are just they're just part of that yeah perfect of course no that's fantastic I think it's great that you're able to do uh, a lot of things with that and help out as many people as you can so let's get details on this golf tournament and how people can participate sign up um, I think they can go with teams is that correct or is it the single well we we have we have different different ways that people can participate okay um, we get sponsorships uh, from yep. the local community so you've got big sponsors that come in and bring in their own teams mm -hmm. uh, so they'll come in and bring in a, 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 a three-person team and it's not just a three-man team you'll see by the pictures yeah. that the ladies come out and play as well 
So we, we encourage everyone to come out. So we have those three uh, those three person teams that come out and play, and then individuals can come can come also. Okay. Like like let's say you just want to you want to spend a day uh, of camaraderie and and goodwill and helping others, and also have a lot of fun playing golf. We of have a course. lot of golfers in the valley. Yeah, uh, they're welcome to come, and um, and the fee will include uh, will include uh, uh, breakfast, lunch, door prizes. Uh, uh, adult beverages for 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 those that for those that want them. So it's it's just a very very fun filled day that really helps us throughout the entire year. I mean Eddie Eddie mentioned that it helps that it helps with those scholarships, but also helps with all the works of, of charity mm -hmm. that uh, that we do uh, uh, across the area. And as you can tell by the picture, uh, we're a very large organization. Of course, yeah. So uh, so we have uh, we have our state convention every year, uh, and and it's and it's an event where we get to see other uh, other councils, other brothers who are just spreading those same Catholic values, those same works of charity everywhere. Perfect. Well, we can, let's see that graphic one more time so we can get and go over those details so if people at home are interested. As we see, it's going to be held on May 4th at Los Lagos. And as far as registration on who they should contact or where they should sign up for sponsorships, is there a specific number that they can call? Well, they can call the number that's on, that was on the screen. Okay, perfect. Uh, that's the... Uh, uh, here locally, 566-5518. Mm -hmm. five, 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 okay. uh, they can also text to that number and, uh, and we'll get back to them as well with, with all the paperwork because there is some of that as well. Um, we start early in the morning, 7 o'clock uh, registration. Uh, folks can go out and hit practice balls and they can have, they can have some of that breakfast that we talked yeah. about and get ready to go because at 8 o'clock uh, we, uh, we, we get started and we, and, 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 you know, we, hit, uh, uh, we, we get going. Perfect. Well, it sounds great. And that information right there is up for you on the screen. And if you want some more um, information, like I mentioned, you can go ahead and give them a call or visit their website. Or if you can just also text, which is great. If you want to send them a text, let them know you're interested. Um, but this is great uh, opportunity for you all to participate in something that's a great event to kind of give back to the community and also have fun while doing it. So that's now, really great. it is great. in Edinburgh. It is in Edinburgh, it's yeah. It's at Los Lagos Golf Tournament. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful uh, uh, it's a beautiful course out there, mm -hmm. and uh, some of the guys know it well, yep. and they play it well, so it's a great opportunity to come on out and have some fun. Definitely. Well, thank you guys so much for coming in today. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you for having thank us. You. Thank you. All right, folks. Well, when we come back, we are talking about a night at the races. Stay with us.